hello guys so um, it was brought to my attention that some people actually don't like the method that I used to model this sliding nut so instead of using that method with just the sketch I'm just going to model everything using the dimension that I given on this on this drone so to start click on part file um, new part file and click OK um, change your units to uh, three decimal places so units um, mice is already in three and I'll click OK and now so the first thing you want to do is so this is our front plane you want to front view we want to start click on the front plane sketch so I'm just gonna move it over here so draw your circle and draw a line just a line um, touching that circle and just draw something like this and draw another line coming down so make this line and this circle tangent to each other um, this is vertical and um, just bring that down until they meet and I'm just gonna trim this off so we're drawing this shape right um, so again we start in our dimension this is going to be one which is right here the radius is one and please feel free to verify the dimension because I'm kind of rushing it so um, not rushing it but sometimes when you just modeling something too fast you make mistakes so okay so this dimension is uh, 1.38 1.38 uh, we know the overall length is 6.5 and what else do we need so we just need this dimension so right here they give you 0 0.56 0 0.56 and the rest is right here so 0.56 is to this face and 0.7 so what you can do is from the center line to here you can add those two numbers together and put that dimension or if you want to just follow what is given you can just draw a line here make it an hidden line and just add your dimension from here to here is 0.76 and from this line to that point is 0.56 so just to be if you want to be accurate so we have that so the next thing we're going to do is feature extrude and we want to extrude it um, if you look on this side you will see that this is not symmetrical the two sides are not symmetrical so that's what we want to do so the first part we're going to be extruding it we're extruding it from this center line it is uh, 0 0.25 plus 0 0.5 so that will be 3 so we're extruding it 3 in this direction and direction 2 which is the other way it is going to be um, so if you take 5.5 minus 3 that gives you 2.5 so that 2.5 or you can just type in the maths in SOLIDWORKS SOLIDWORKS will do the calculation for you good so click OK good so once you click that again let's just I click my front plane let me go normal to my front plane so what's I see what view I'm working on so from this view click this face sketch and just draw a line that is um, Kind of coincident with that point and draw a line coming down something like this so once you have this once you have this you can put this line under here and make it vertical to each other just to and now what you need to do is we know that the distance from the top down is 2.1 so we're just going to do 2.12 to so from the top down is uh, 2.12 good so now what we need to do is we have that feature is fully defined feature extrude um, we want to again because they are giving you so we are working with the dimensions that are that is actually given to us so if you look um, where where it, it is right here you can see the 1.26 which is right there that's where this feature start and it goes all the way to the end so that's what we're going to do so right here we're going to offset um, and we're going to ups offset it 1.26 and in the other direction 
and this blind so we're gonna change it so you should have something like this so you have the face of setting your extra to start 1.26 from that side and we are going to do through all and that is what you need to do for this one and click OK okay so the next one we are going to draw is click on this face sketch um, normal to so I'm just gonna bring this here so just draw a line something like this something that's coincident with that point something like a triangle um, let me make sure I don't have extra line there okay and the dimension is going to be angle dimension is going to be 30 and the distance with for this line which is right here is 1.76 and feature extrude cut um, true all and good so now we want to click on this back face sketch number two and just draw a line something like this good so now we just need to add this dimension we know from from here to here from here to this point if I can select it let me zoom in no just select this edge from here to this edge is 0.5 to that face um, from the center line to this line is 2.5 so because of we did that in the extrude um, that worked or what we can have done do is delete this if I set dimension from here to here 2.5 and if I to verify this, I still get 0.5. So that's why when we extrude it, um, three in this direction and the rest in this direction, good. So now the next thing we need to do is from here to here is two. And the, the, the angle dimension here is 60. And the distance here is 0.76. So once we have that, we just close our sketch and feature extrude cut and we want to extrude cut it through all and click OK. Okay, good. So now the next thing we need to do is click on this face, sketch, number two. So now we're going to draw a circle over here, down here. And the circle, the center point of the circle and your origin point should be vertical to each other. And just draw a line on the side of it. And draw another line and close it together. Make sure that line and your origin point are coincident. And I'm just going to trim this off. And this circle is 1.26. The radius is 1.26. So we have that, what else do we need? The distance from the origin point to the bottom, to the center line of this circle. So the distance is 1.62. So if you look over here, the distance from the center line to the center point is 1.62. So our sketch is fully defined. We have something like this. So now we're going to go to our feature, extrude. Again, we're going to do the same thing because right here they're telling you this feature is starting 0.76 from this face so we're going to offset it um, in the other direction point, 0.76 put in your number first once you put in your number and you want to extrude this um, 1.76 1.76 so once you put in your number just adjust so now we know that offset is going in that direction that's not what we want we change the direction and for the blind we also switch the direction. So now we're starting from there, offsetting 0.76 and we're extruding 1.76, which is exactly what we want. Let me, let me verify and click OK. Good. So now we click on the front plane, um, sketch, number two, and draw a circle right here and draw a line down here that is kind of touching this circle and just draw a line that is coinc coincident with that 
collinear with that edge and close those two together and bring that line up here and you can even convert entity this line is all the same thing and so that's what we're going to do from now and this back edge over here click that edge and convert entity as well so I'm going to go normal to so that line we just convert entity is right here so what you want to do is trim everything trim this so you get something not that so let me back again so you want to trim this and that so that's all the stuff you want to trim out so again now we just want to add a dimension to it you see right here it's 0.76 the dimension for that is 0.76 so 0.76 and what else so this needs to, we need to move this um, this I kind of didn't do it right so sometimes it's depending on how you add it so let me move that again yeah so this needs to be back here somewhere and right here oh okay maybe when I add the stuff it should adjust itself okay never mind so from the bottom down let's add this dimension first so that should be 0 0.5 and that is this dimension over here 0 0.5 right here and this one this dimension is 0 0.76 0 0.76 so everything should adjust itself so you should have something like this and once you get that um oh i need to close my sketch so i need one more line over here just to close it and if i go normal to i mean like isometric view you see so then feature extrude cut you want to extrude this cut this by the mid plane and it's going to be 2.5 right here 2.5 i believe this is symmetrical to this line so um 2.5 so once you get that, click OK. Good. So the next thing we need to draw is on the front plane again. Sketch. Normal 2. That's going to bring it over here. And I'll section this so you see what we're doing. Section. So I'm just going to draw a circle here. And this bottom face let me see if I can convert entity it while this section no so don't section it for now and click this for front edge and convert entity till you get that line okay so now um, make sure drag the point of that line up so that line is touching this circle so now I can um, also another you can move this circle down this circle don't need to be this big drag this up um, click this face and this this two edge convert entity and you can just draw a line up here so i'm trying to draw the basic shape first draw a line coming down so make this line and the origin point vertical to each other and just bring that line down till it touches that line that circle so now i'm just going to trim what i need out of it off so i'm using trim to closest i like that one better so draw everything until you get this shape so now we want to add a dimension here and this dimension is going to be 0.76 which is still the same thing as this radius this radius is the same thing coming over here 0.76 so that's you should have something see I still have a line sticking down no problem I'm just gonna trim that off so you should have this little shape thing so once you get that feature extrude you want to extrude it by the mid plane and it is going to be 1.26 um, and it is right here 1.26 right there and click OK oh no I did the wrong thing so I'm just going to backspace you want to do extrude cut not extrude so extrude cut um, by the mid plane 1.26 by the mid plane I did extrude sorry so once you do your extrude cut you should have something like this good so click on the front plane again um, sketch normal 2 and I'm just going to draw another circle right here something like that and this time we're going to add the dimension the diameter to it because because of the way we want to choose to cut it so is this what we are drawing is this point 88 which is that cut 
0.88 because that's the radius so you can do 0.88 times 2 which that gives you 1.76 and it should be in here and what you do is feature um, extrude cut not extrude by the mid plane and you want to extrude it um, 0.8 so it's this gap right here 0.8 and click OK so we have that back done and just to verify something if I click on my evaluate and measure this edge to this edge it should be 0 0.4 point, point 0.4 so um, oh no no it shouldn't be 0.4 it should um, the, from the midpoint from the center point to that face should be 0.4 um, so I can I get the so I can just do evaluate measure um, the front plane um, to this face so that should be 0.4 yes so that means we did everything right to this point good so now we have all the the basic stuff the hardest part of it done so we just need to cut our hole in so let's start with this face let's click on that face sketch number two i'm just going to draw a circle on the origin point and the circle is a limit as a limit tolerance which means the diameter can be anywhere from 0.876 to 0.875 so what i always do for limit tolerance is i'll do point parentheses point 0.876 plus 0.875 divided by 2. So that gives you 0.88 feature, extrude cut, uh, blind, true or done. So the next one we can draw is this one. So, oh, you know what? Before we do this, we are actually missing one feature. Um, so this, um, maybe I can use this opportunity to teach you another thing. So this feature you just drew, you can either delete it or backspace, or if you don't want to do that, just roll it with your feature manager tree up to suppress that. Right before we draw that hole, I forgot to draw this feature over here. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to click on the right plane, sketch, number two. And I'm just going to draw um, a line, something like this, like a rectangle going up, something like that. And I'm going to make this and the origin point just horizontal, just to fully define it. And if you look right here, from the origin point to this center line of that circle is 2.12. Good. And the uh, and over here, if you look from over here, from the center line to the bottom of that circle is 1.12 good and the, we can now make this a construction line and the circle itself the diameter is 1 so if you click this point and click this center line bring it out it should give you the diameter 1 so we have that feature revolve uh, excuse that noise I forgot to turn my speaker down revolve it and click OK good so now once we've had that feature and because we definitely need that feature in before we cut our, our circle our hole into it so now if i bring this line down see it's still arranging it in the order i want good that's exactly what you want and i'm glad that happened so i can show you show you this feature this method so click on this face sketch um so in the or click on this face sketch um number two and we want to draw a circle here. If you click this circle and click this outer edge, it, the arc should allow you to be, put a concentric to it. And now, again, there's a limit tolerance. So you can do 1.001, because it will be between those two numbers. So 1.001 and click OK. And now we are going to extrude cut up to next which is right there and click OK what else do we have to do we have two more stuff to do and I believe we're done so on this face sketch number two 
um, I'm going to draw a circle click this circle and see how this this is jagged over there the circle a way to improve that is if you go into the option and document properties image quality and you bring this up it makes your circle smoother uh, I'm just gonna click OK now now you see how that circle is smooth and I can click this this circle and this edge make it called centric and add a dimension to it a dimension is going to be 0 0.406 which is right here um, feature extrude cut up to next not up to next true all because that circle is going all the way to the outside so it's going all the way to the top so true all and click OK good and we just need one more feature and we are done except for the radius so click on this face sketch um, number two um, draw a line over here and move to this point and if you keep dragging it around you this your highlight and you want to drop it on that oh I didn't drop it there so you want to drop it on that center line so make sure it's black everything is uh, co means is coincident to that center point of that circle so now you want to draw a line a circle on the end, end point of that line and again this circle is going to be 0 0.406 and make this line a construction line and make this this should be um, 3 right here the distance is 3 from circle to circle is 3 and as everything is fully defined so what we're going to do is feature extrude cut up to next or we can do not true true or up to next we can do up to next for this one and click OK Good. so we have all the feature done this is the part so the next thing we need to do is add the fillet on um, the first fillet will be point point three eight right here which is on the side so point three eight and you want to add that to this front edge so if this part is like that you want to add it to that edge and you want to add it to the side right here click this line and click that line and click OK. So the next one you want to just add is uh, 1, 0 0.12. 0 0.12 is for everything else. So 0.12, uh, you click this edge. Uh, to make sure you change it to 0 0.12. And what I like doing is adding as much fillet as I can add until things start breaking. Then I'll just stop and add the rest in another fillet. So this is 0 0.12, 0 0.12. So I'm gonna click this edge. I'm gonna click there. Um, I'm gonna click this face, this edge too. So just keep adding it until everything, until something breaks. Like right now, that has broken. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. I'm gonna add it over here. Uh, back here this edge and if you don't want to do it the same this way I'm doing it just add it one by one the way you feel comfortable adding it so I just like adding as much fillet as I can add um, so I don't have all those fillets running down so that's that's broken let me try this edge and right here I believe there is a fillet over here and there's a fillet over here that's enough I'm just going to click OK so I have the fillet on most of the part um, there's, there's some left so let me look around so but anyway not to hold you up right here so there's a fillet over here that I'm missing I think on this front edge too and I believe there's a fillet over here you might want to verify with your professor but I believe there's a fillet here because if you look at this this is carving down over there so once you apply all your point one to fillet that is this part and you are done and you just save and thank you for your support and thank you for trusting me to help you with this assignment and I will see you in the next lecture and best of luck to you guys this semester on your finals thank you and I'll see you next time bye